hey welcome back to outdoors with chris we're in week five it's been a uh, not such a great week for training uh very busy at work very busy at home so i only got a couple of workouts in but it worked out good because it let me taper for what's going on tonight uh chad and i are riding up to the Pinhody trail to help pace kip chase on his uh endeavor of completing his 12th Pinhody 100 mile trail race so he's probably about what would you say 45 miles in right now something like that yeah probably about 45 miles and so we're going to meet him at mile 55 chad's going to take on the first leg and i think at mile 68 yes at mile 68 i'll uh join kip for at least a 17-ish mile stretch and then we'll we'll see what happens from there and who's feeling what uh, looking forward to a nice long run this week and i'll try and get you as much footage here throughout the evening and night and maybe the next morning that i can so thanks for tuning back in and enjoy well we're at the aid station now it's just waiting on our runner so laid up in the back of the truck i'll try and take a nap Get some rest. Oh, really? So it is 12:15 Central Time. We are expecting our runner and Chad or his pacer currently to come into the aid station maybe in the next 30 within the next 30 minutes or so. So I just woke up from a short nap. Uh, we've been parked here at Porter's Gap for I don't know. We got here 10:20 Central Time. So I'm currently getting myself run ready, uh, getting everything situated, about to turn my shoes on and make sure I got my packing all ready. And uh, Mr. Philip and I, that's uh, Kip Chasse's dad, will be heading up to the trailhead to await Chad and Kip coming in. Yee. So it's currently 5:44 Central Time. Uh, the plan for the, the night drastically changed when Kip Chasse and Chad came into the aid station. Uh, Kip was just pretty much done. His legs were good, but his feet were shot. He said they were just torn up. So on his 12th attempt, he unfortunately had to call it quits. I found a guy named Brad that I paced with to the next aid station to the pinnacle, which you just saw, and he pulled out there. So. I gotta have a long run this week, so Chad is being so kind as to drive ahead to Bull Gap and nap until I get there. So I got like a nice little trail half marathon to finish up this morning and enjoy the sunrise in the forest. Could you have a better day on the Pinhody? I've forgotten how much I enjoyed hiking on this trail back when we did the Scotts Lake trips and the McDill Point trips. Such a great trail and only like an hour from my house, so I definitely need to get back out here. If you live anywhere near the Pinhody Trail, get on it and check it out for sure. Man, talk about a just beautiful sight. Now I'm good with the headlamp now. I just run with my hand lamp, but definitely gonna enjoy the views on this was turned into a morning training run, so yippee.
18th century time and I come off the Jeep trails onto some single track 13.77 miles into my run feeling good getting lots of added boys and good jobs and I explained no 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 I had a runner that dropped and I'm just fitting in a train run so if you ever want to feel good about yourself come uh, join a 100 mile race at about mile 60 and run strong like you've been running the whole thing people are very impressed he's like whoa, whoa he's up I got nowhere near in it what you do so Lots of blowdowns through here. Over unders, logs to hop over. I tell you what, I can't imagine coming through here 80 miles in, having to try and bend under some of this stuff and crawl over it. Kudos to these ladies and gentlemen out here doing this today. Fingers crossed I'll be out here next year. So, can't wait. Yeah, just popped over. Mile number 16, brought my average down to an overall 15 minute average. <sighs> at mile five, I think I was sitting at like 20 minute average or 21, 22 minute average. So, we're popping along some good downhill. It's a nine and 10 minute miles. Of course, again, I'm only out here doing 17 in the first five were fairly, fairly mellow in the dark. Doing some pacing with a runner who was pretty well whooped, but he was excited to have gotten to at least his next aid station and his buddies were there to pick him up. That's pretty awesome. Should be about one mile away from Bull Gap. I might they'll be done. I've loved it up here. Definitely, definitely. Gotta come do some more running on the Pinhoti. If you haven't been out here, man, what are you doing? Get out on the Pinhoti. Do some running, hiking. Jeep riding, whatever, just get outdoors. So I got into Bull Gap, got off the trail, and we're in the car. Coffee and chicken sandwich and donut sticks later. Headed back to the house. So that wraps okay, up week number track. five of training for me. Chad, you keeping track of your training? Um, yeah, I think I'm on one. <laughs> but uh, feeling good. 4.6 miles, turn right onto State Route 49. She likes to interrupt. I'm feeling good and Ready for week six if we can get a hopefully get a better weekend uh, on week six than I did on week five. This is probably about the only quality workout other than the hill repeats that I got in all week. But uh, you, sometimes you just got to take what life gives you. So, again, man, if you haven't been out on the Pinhoti and you live anywhere near here, get over to the Pinhoti. Get outdoors, get out on your feet, hiking, running, walking, biking, whatever. Just get outdoors and have a good time. And get active. See you next week.